Our main focus is on septic patients who develop multiple organ failure and then subsequent deaths and we try to understand how we can help these patients from the diagnosis point of view and then also from the treatment and if we can target new pathways to improve their quality of life. And so we use platelets as a marker but also we use platelets as a target to try to regulate the inflammatory statue in these patients. But with our research we have two aims. We aim first to have a better diagnosis for the patients so we can classify this patient for the best treatment. And we also want to find the best treatment for the best solution, which is part of the personalized medicine that we are aiming for. I hope based on our research in 15 years time that the patients will benefit from a better diagnosis, early diagnosis, but also from a better treatment that is personalized to their case. We study severely ill patients in intensive care and patients with traumatic injury. One of the problems with these patients is that they develop sepsis, which is a severe infection. The body's response to that infection is what kills them. Platelets are involved in the response to that infection. However, there is a bit of a paradox. We don't know if platelets are innocent bystanders or platelets are playing an active role in actually defending against the bacterial infection. So what we do, we measure platelets in patients in intensive care with sepsis. And what's really interesting, the patients that do very poorly with bad outcomes, including death, the platelet count is very low. And there is a significant difference in those counts between those patients that die and those patients that survive. So the platelet count is already a useful test in diagnosing sepsis. In five years' time, I would hope that we would achieve two things. We would actually have a new early diagnosis test for sepsis and also an effective new treatment for sepsis.